how to make seven steps up spicy guacamole. These are all the ingredients that you're gonna need. Uh, cutting board, these are some utensils, obviously. Cutting board, chef's knife, this little thing, I don't know what they call it, but it's a good thing to mash up a ripe avocado with. A uh, vegetable brush, because you want to clean these, uh, get these labels off the avocados, and you want to scrub them under some cold water. Um, there's health uh, reasons for that. Um, avocados sometimes collect salmonella on the outside, and if you cut into them, it goes into the fruit. So anyway, in a mixing bowl, uh, an onion. That one's a little larger than probably need, but we'll just use a part of that. Some cilantro, which I've been keeping fresh in some water. Uh, we're gonna rip off uh, the leaves uh, from the big stems. Not that they're not edible, but it's just a little better just to do the leaves. Uh, there's one of the secret ingredients right there, the Rotel Hot. They also make one called Fire Roasted. You could substitute that one. If you were like really mild, um, you could use their original, but you're probably not gonna call it spicy anymore. And some just common paste picante sauce, uh, not the chunky style, medium, uh, medium hot. You can need a little sour cream. Some seasonings, these are important. Uh, uh, there's some garlic powder there. There's some ground cumin. Uh, you're gonna need some salt and pepper. And like the last ingredient's gonna be uh, the juice from a half of a lime. Uh, a serving uh, bowl, some chips, of course, to sample it with. And the chef needs uh, some wine or some bourbon or something. Uh, or at least this chef does. Okay, we'll show you some more after we chop up a few things. Okay, so here's a uh, pile of cilantro leaves that we're gonna chop, finely chop. Uh, usually like a little more than that. I don't know what that is, maybe a cup. Usually like more, but that's all I had left over, so that's how it's gonna be. Uh, you can't have too much cilantro, in my, in my opinion. Okay, there's the cilantro after it's been finely chopped, uh, thrown in the mixing bowl. Okay, so there's the last item that we're gonna chop up. But first, we're gonna take this can of Rotel and we're gonna drain it thoroughly. So, the easiest way to do that is first, wash your hands and then use your hands to drain it. So just turn it upside down like that and get in there with three fingers and squeeze it against the side of the can. We're gonna use about three-fourths of a can. This is what we normally would use. But we're going to squeeze it really good. There's a lot of juices in there. And I suppose you could leave it in there, but it's going to, it would make a really runny guacamole, I think. So, so squeeze it really good. Rinse off your hands. That's kind of what it looks like. Don't touch your eyes. And if you're a guy, definitely do not go to the bathroom. So we'll chop this up and throw it in the mixing bowl. Okay, that's what about three-fourths of the can of Rotel looks like. Um, before we chop it up, we're gonna chop it up very fine um, and throw it in the mixing bowl there. And then we're done chopping and except for mashing up some avocados. Okay, so we have the chopped up cilantro, the chopped up diced uh, onion, and the chopped up uh, Rotel, hot Rotel secret ingredient. And I like to kind of push them to the side because I'm going to use the other half of the mixing bowl to mash on the avocados, which is coming up next. Okay, that's what your mixing bowl looks like now. Uh, right before we're ready to start mashing up the the avocado with this, I think it's called a potato masher. Seems like I've seen it used that way. Anyway, we're gonna mash this up to uh, a little bit chunky. Don't You don't wanna make it totally liquid. 
Okay, once you've mashed up the avocado and then uh, use the fork there to stir all those ingredients together, it should probably look a little something like that. And the next thing I would do is just splash about that much picante sauce on it from that big jug there. Okay? Okay, so, so I've uh, stirred the paste picante sauce into the mixture now. And the next thing would be a big dollop, I think it's called a dollop, of uh, sour cream. I use a tablespoon here. Um, drop that in. I'm going to lay the camera down and scrape off the rest of that into there. But you get the idea, and then I'll stir that in, and then we'll be ready for some spices. Okay, I just, uh, I added the garlic powder. Um, I don't know how to tell you how much. Again, you can just taste as you go along. And then I've kind of coated the whole top with cumin. Don't be shy with the cumin. It adds a great flavor to this. Okay, the spicy guacamole is done. Uh, just preserving it here. If you press this uh, saran wrap down on top of it, it won't turn brown. It can last several days in the fridge if you do that as well. We'll unveil it here in a little bit. Some chips to eat with. This is our typical snack bar for concert nights in the artist green room, which is where we are now. So some, uh, just some little crackers. I think those are wheat thins. This is a smoked whitefish dip. Some bagel chips, sometimes pita chips. Some red pepper hummus. Some toasted almonds. Um, dark chocolate with orange peel and a milk chocolate with caramel and sea salt, which the chocolates go great with a good Cabernet. So that's what we're doing tonight before the show. Uh, you're in the green room, the loft above the venue, seven steps up. Just taking a little look around. We'll be cooking dinner or Michelle will be cooking dinner for the artist after the show tonight. And I think she's got a big pot roast planned with carrots and potatoes and her awesome homemade, made from scratch, uh, brown gravy that goes with it. So, okay, so we're ready to sample it now. Got some corn chips. And one of the ingredients I forgot is you need a reason to be doing this. And so this is the Cerny Brothers who will be playing, headlining a show downstairs in the Seven Steps Up venue later this evening. So we're going to let them uh, be the guinea the pigs consensus? and what check out the guacamole. Turn out of town. Mm. It's complex. It's good. Yeah, I can eat that whole thing. All we need now is some beer. And we're going to put out a... This whole counter will be full of a spread of appetizers that we try to do before the show. Anyway, all set for another great evening. Hope you enjoyed the video of how to make spicy guacamole.